Chubori F89. First use. Unboxing. Open the box and take out Chubori F89 and its accessories. Preparing for flight. To avoid injury, please operate in strict accordance with the instruction. Please abide by local regulations and use in open airspace. Charging the battery. Please use the original charging cable and keep away from fire or flammable materials during charging. The red indicator light of the battery lights up while charging, and the indicator light goes out to indicate full charge. The charging time is approximately 180 minutes. Please do not overcharge. Assembling the controller. Take out two joysticks from the accessory package and install them on the controller. Open the phone holder and install the phone on it. Insert three AA batteries in the controller. Download and install the app on your smartphone. Scan the QR code in the instruction to download and install the app. During the installation process, a pop-up window may appear requesting authorization. Please be sure to click Agree. Install the battery on the drone and unfold the drone arms. Turn on the drone and place it on a level surface. The LED of the drone will be flashing. Connect the controller. Tips. If you want to control a drone with your phone, do not connect the controller to the drone. Orient the drone's head and controller in the same direction. Turn on the controller and push the left joystick to the highest point, then push the controller to the lowest point. When the controller beeps and the indicator lights of the controller and drone stop flashing, it indicates that the connection between the controller and drone is complete. Calibration. Orient the drone's head and controller in the same direction. Press the calibration button. The controller beeps. The drone indicator light quickly flashes and then stays on. And calibration is complete. Connect your phone. Then turn on the WLAN of the phone. Select and connect the WLAN starting with CVR. Open the app. Select flight mode and then click Start to use the app. Install the phone onto the phone holder of the controller. In this way, you can control the drone through the controller and enjoy the flight view through your phone. Basic Flight One Key Ascend Press the One Key Ascend button and the drone will take off automatically to 1.5 meters height and hover. Left joystick, push it up the drone fly upwardly. Push it down, the drone fly downwardly. Push it to the left, the drone turn left. Push it to the right, the drone turn right. Right joystick, push it up, the drone fly forwardly. Push it down, the drone fly backwardly. Push to the left, the drone fly to the left. Push to the right, the drone fly to the right. Hover, release all joysticks, the drone will hover. 3 Speed Mode Press the speed button and the controller will emit beep sound. 1 beep sound indicates low speed, 2 beep sounds indicate medium speed, and 3 beep sounds indicate high speed. Please use the high speed mode when flying outdoors. Flip and Rolls When the drone is reaching more than 3 meters, click on 360 button and then push the right joystick. Then the drone will roll in the direction that the right joystick was pushed toward. Headless Mode Note, if you want to use Headless Mode, please ensure that the orientation of the drone head and controller is consistent when connecting the drone to the controller and calibrating the drone. Headless Mode Press the Headless Mode button. The controller emits a beep sound. The drone indicator light flashes, and the drone enters Headless Mode. Press the Headless Mode button again to exit Headless Mode. In Headless Mode, you don't need to distinguish the direction of the drone's nose. Just control the drone's flight based on the direction of the controller joystick. Landing. Three landing methods. One key landing. Emergency stop. Long press the one key landing button and pressing the left joystick to descend. Taking photo and video. Taking photo. Click on the taking photo icon in the app to take a photo. Shooting video. Click on the recording icon in the app to shoot a video. 
Switching Camera. Click on the Switch Camera icon in the app to switch between different camera combinations. Adjusting the camera angle. Using the camera angle adjustment button, you can adjust the angle of the front camera up and down by 90 degrees. Gesture photo and video. About two meter in front of the drone, hold the gesture for three seconds. Make yeah gesture to take photos. Make palm gesture to shoot video. Make the same gesture again and the recording will end. Using your phone to control the drone. Tips, if you want to use your phone to control the drone, do not connect the controller to the drone. Only connect your phone to the drone. Connect your phone then turn on the WLAN of the phone. Select and connect the WLAN starting with CBR. Open the app, select flight mode, and then click on the calibrate icon to calibrate the drone. At this time, the drone should be placed on a level place. The drone indicator light quickly flashes and then stays on and calibration is complete. App Settings. In the setting, you can choose control mode and language you like, and get detailed help. App Operation Interface. Follow Me Mode. Click on the icon in the bottom right corner of the App Operation Interface to switch the control mode to Master Mode. Please go two meters ahead of the drone and the drone will automatically recognize you in the blue box. Click on you as the following target in the blue box on the phone screen, and the blue box will turn into a red box. The drone will lock you in the red box and automatically follow you. Trajectory Flight Click on the Trajectory Flight icon, and then draw the trajectory in the frame on the right side of the screen. The drone will fly based on the trajectory MV12. MV Click MV icon. You can have filters, scenes, music, and one key sharing functions. Propeller replacement. If the propeller is damaged or deformed, please replace it in time. Please install the propeller blades according to the letter markings on the blades and drone arms. The A blade can only be installed on the A arm, and the B blade can only be installed on the B arm. Installation of protective guards. If flying indoors, it is recommended to use protective guards. Tips, if the protective guards is deformed, it will automatically return to its original shape after a few days. Please refer to the instruction for more functions.